So I called my mom on the phone and I said, what's that, what do I have? Can you do, like, what is the thing called that I have? Um, and she's like, well, I have the paperwork right here. And she pulled it out and she started saying androgen insensitivity syndrome. And I was like, oh my God, that's the thing the teacher was talking about. This means like a lot of things that I, I have XY chromosomes. Like, and I know from basic biology that men have XY chromosomes, not women. And, and then I went into like a free fall. So here you see this, this bipotential stage, which is, um, so if it develops into an ovary, as seen here, um, then the hormones that are produced by the ovary and ducts regress. And the way that we took care of things in the past, meaning historically, where there was a fair amount of secrecy, uh, where there was surgery done in uh, the infant state um, and potentially irreversible surgery is probably not the best way to go about things. The philosophy that we have now adopted within our clinic is to create better awareness, more transparency, more education when it comes to dealing with families that have this situation in which they have a child that has ambiguous genitalia, and to realize that there's not a tremendous rush into making a decision. These children can be raised as boys and girls. They are raised as boys and girls. So we try to figure out what the most likely gender of the child is going to be, and then the child is raised that way. But sometimes we get that gender assignment wrong. And in those cases, it's particularly important that we've not done unnecessary interventions so that the child can figure out who am I and what do my genitals mean to who I am and which direction should I go in if I do want surgery. There's this great video by children born with Down syndrome and they speak to the camera and they tell future parents that they're okay, that they have a wonderful life, that they love their parents and they love themselves um, just the way they are. And I think there needs to be a video for intersex people the same way. Um, I think what's best for us and for your, and for your baby is to let them have the choice um, when they're older.